my favorite breed ni checkered giant which, have, which we have said there in two different colors checkered giant ni sungura ni miona ana grow vizuri sana hata akiwa mtoto mchanga hata akiwa mtoto mchanga upate kuna sungura ameza watoto kwa sababu we normally we normally do cross breeding you can you can get a rabbit ameza check ameza watoto wa checkered na ameza watoto wa wa breed tofauti utapata wale watoto wa checkered tangu wakuwa wachanga unapata difference ya growth so we normally say checkered with with me checkered are the best eh uh, ile kitu ile tunasema kuna program ya ya feeding ni pellet cause tunasema maji should be there 24/7 Pellet ndiyo tuna feed with a routine ya twice per day. You give pellet in the morning and in the evening. And we, we do a 100 grams per, per each mature rabbit per feeding. So in total you give a, your mature rabbit 200 grams. So pellets ulikuwa umesema ni supplement ya ni supplement ya because there are some nutrients which are not in the hay. Mm-hmm. And the rabbit needs some other nutrients for growth. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, okay. So um, how do you manage the health and hygiene of your rabbit? Eh uh, one adv- one very important aspect to consider when you are doing rabbit farming ni hygiene. Tunahakikisha kuna usafi ile ya kutosha. Eh ni ngumu kwa kwa binadamu kupata 100% hygiene but we try at least to get 70%. You should clean your cages daily tunafanya usafi kila siku useme ati niliosha keji zangu jana ati leo sitaosha tunaosha keji si daily kwa sababu tunasema eh sungura haina magonjo magonjo mingi ya sungura inaletwa na uchafu so make sure all your cages are done daily okay yeah how long have you been raising your rabbits mimi nilianza kufuga sungura mwaka wa 2016 Yeye nilikuwa na shifuga sungura tu juu nitege mkojo wa sungura naweza kutumia kwa shamba langu haikuwa biashara. Hii ilirudi kutan to be business pale 2018. Yeah. So ni nini ili ku motivate to Ile kitu ili ni motivate ni badilisha my my business my my rabbit for me to be business. Nilianza kupata kuna order za mkojo wa sungura na zile sungura nilikuwa nazo nikaona siku anaweza kuitimu ile demand ya mkojo. Baadaye pia nikaanza kupata kuna watu wanataka nyama ya sungura. Nikapata pia kuna watu wanataka kuchukua sungura kutoka kwangu za kwenda kulea. I turned the business to be commercial. And uh, and uh, as a today unaweza kuzungumzia aje biashara ya kuuza the, the urine? Eh biashara ya kuuza urine has been has been not be going well but currently kama miaka mbili tatu hivi imepita tunaona wakulima wameanza kujaribu kutumia mkojo ya sungura the market is not all that big but it's growing day by day kwa sababu zile miaka tulianza hatukuwa tunaweza mkojo ya sungura tulikuwa tunatumia ikuwa ikuwa yetu ya shamba letu baadaye tulianza kuuza mkojo wa sungura unapata leo umeuza lita moja umeuza lita mbili umeuza lita kumi. tumefikia pahali unaweza pata mkulima mmoja na unamuuzia lita moja ya mkojo wa sungura hata zaidi kwa hivyo tunasema soko ina soko inaendelea kukua na soko inaendelea kunawili okay. na kwenye unaweza pata pesa kwa ufugaji wa sungura ni kuuza mkojo okay. yeah okay. Uh, your customer and uh, your marketing target my customers are all over being that i'm based in nakuru i have grant all, all over the country nimeuza mkojo wa sungura narobi nimeuza mkojo wa sungura nimeuza mkojo wa sungura Eldoret nimeuza Kisumu nimeuza nyama ya sungura Narobi nimeuza nyama ya sungura Kitale nimeuzia watu ya kulea sungura Narobi nimeuzia watu ya kulea sungura Eldoret all over the country I normally have client yeah okay uh, nakuru is known as a country ambayo sana sana tunakuta uh, wakulima wengi wanapanda minji potatoes na hizo types of nini yeah. so in terms of uh, nyama ya sungura mm-hmm. iko aje marketing yake hapa nakuru uh, people consuming ama there still that kuna ile bado watu waje waje accept kabisa that sungura is edible eh 
watu wengi wamekaa kwa kijua sungura haiku inafanywa ikuwa nyama inaweza kulewa lakini tunaendelea kuelimisha watu na tunaendelea kuonyesha manufaa ya sungura kwa sababu sisi tunasema nyama ya sungura ni medicine medicinal si kama ile tu nyama ya mbuzi unakula ati unakula ndio ushibe hiyo hata unakula bado inatengeneza mwili in a way it, uh, it's white meat and it's cholesterol free Yeah. And uh, sungura anachinjwa akiwa na kifika miezi ngapi ndio is uh, old enough kwa kunini kwa consumed as me. Kulingana na zile breeds tunafuka mm-hmm. as we are doing hybrid rabbits. Sungura kuna sungura wengine akienda miezi hata miezi tatu na nusu. Amefikisha amefikisha weight ya 2 kg. Mm-hmm. Na sungura kama kwa live weight 2 kg anaweza kukupa nyama ya kilo moja. So sungura kama ni wa kuchinja tunasema ana style kuchinjwa before apitishe apitishe miezi tano. So akiwa miezi 4 ama miezi tano, sungura yako is ready to be slaughtered kwa sababu sasa hizo wako wako over 2 kg. Kuna sungura utapata hapo wakati yamefika miezi tano, mwingine atakodhiri and half kg. Mm-hmm. So anytime your rabbit is above 2 kg is ready for slaughtering. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, nikilinganisha na nyama ya ngombe let's jaribu ku compare mm-hmm. kuna ile inasemanga ngombe mzee si si tamu si mm-hmm. iko hivi nyama yake is not that red mm-hmm. siju kwa sungura iko aje naenda na tuseme the, the kgs ama the age that tunasema hii do ako 2 months ama 3 months ni mtamu compare to maybe mwenye ako 4 months unajua nyama ya sungura hata kama sungura iko na mwaka mmoja nyama ya sungura ni soft na kama nyama wa nyama wengine kama mnyama amezeeka sana unapata nyama ni ngumu. Nyama ya sungura kwa sababu is not in it's in very rare cases inaweza kuta ati mtu anachinja sungura kwa na miaka mbili. In most cases hata kupata ati mtu amechinja sungura mwenye amezeeka sana pengine miezi sita. So nyama ya sungura ina remain to be soft and uh, generally it's very sweet. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the prices of our rabbits zinategemea na na sungura kwa na umri kiasi gani. Eh, for the starters, we advise them to start with the rabbits that are three, three months old. Sungura akiwa na miezi tatu, tunauza kwa shilingi 3500. Kuna mtu anakuja anakuambia yeye hapana hataki kwenda kulea sungura. Anataka kununua sungura na anaanza kubreed immediately. Kwa hivyo anasema anataka kununua ule sungura pregnant. Wao sungura wenye tumepea ndume tayari tuko nao na tunauza sungura moja 1500. Okay. Are they prone to diseases? Rabbits are prone to diseases if your hygiene is not in the correct order. Keep your cages clean, disinfect your area. There will be no any cause of any cause of harm. Ni symptoms gani zenye sungura na ana display kuonyesha kwamba maybe is not uh, is not healthy 100% healthy. Eh uh, we normally say <coughs> mtu anasahili kuwa kuwa kini kila wakati na sungura zake. Kwa sababu sungura ya kabrolia rise amegonjeka kama you are not very keen sasa hizo ugonjwa imemweza sana. What we normally say when you are doing you are feeding and in most cases let's consider about pellet feeding. Sungura ile masaa huo unampea pellet kama ni saa mbili asubuhi ama ni saa tatu sungura yote yule wakati umekaribia ume kumpea pellet zake anakujaga hapa karibu kwa mrango. So wakati ume you are doing your routine for feeding na umepata sungura wako hajakuja kuangalia umemletea nini, the sungura is not okay. That was that was just one of the symptoms that can show you your rabbit is not okay. Sungura anastahili kuangalia nini umemletea kwa sababu kama you are, you are doing a good routine of your feeding anajua hii ni time ya kutoa pellets. Kwa hivyo anakuja kuangalia chakula yenye umemletea. Ukiona hajaamuka kwenye alikuwa amekaa, angalia kuna shida gani kwa sababu it's not okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. that's why wakati na take some video when nazungusha my camera hivi, yeah. they come to Unaona wengi wanakuja. Okay. Mm. Uh-huh. Kwa sababu anafikia kuna kitu umemletea. Okay. So ukiona mwenye amuki, ati umekuja asubuhi hakuamuka, jioni hakuamuka, mm-hmm. your rabbit is not okay. Okay. Yeah. So so maybe to end hivi then you okay, just your final words about uh, rabbit farming your message to those who want to venture into this farm for type of farming and uh, all that What we normally do we are encouraging farmers all over to practice in rabbit farming For for this we are saying rabbit farming is beneficial in so many ways. 
one thing you don't be you don't need a very big land so that you can do your rabbit farming you don't need a lot of capital so that you can start your rabbit farming you can start with two rabbits you can start with three cages and uh, gradually you'll be growing to the next level uh, another thing we are trying to tell all farmers to entice crop farmers to try and use the rabbit urine because we normally say rabbit urine can fetch you a lot of money because your, your, your rabbit will be urinating almost almost uh, three rabbits can do a liter per day so in a week depending on the rabbits that you have you can even collect 100 or 200 liters of rabbit urine and we normally say that uh, a liter of the urine at 100 shillings so you can see with the with the collection we will be having you can make enough money yeah okay so your words to somebody when you try rabbit maybe so far john at that uh, profit on or uh, benefits uh, what encouraging words uh, will you tell uh, that person one thing that make some people maybe they, they are very very negative about rabbit farming there are people who are doing rabbit farming but they are not getting returns one thing we get those people they are not doing the hybrid rabbit they are doing the rock ones and the disadvantage with the rock rabbits they don't attain the slaughtering weight so i would tell someone if at all you are doing rock rabbit kindly change and do the hybrid rabbits and you get good returns do you slaughter your rabbit sama una inanuliwa ikiwa bado ikiwa haija haija kuwa slaughtered kuna soko tofauti tofauti Tukipata customer anataka nyama tunamchinjia nyama ya sungura. Tukipata customer anataka kwenda kulea sungura tunampatia sungura kwa uhai. Sisi kuchinja sungura kila Friday kama leo bing on Saturday tulichinja sungura jana and we delivered early, early in the morning. So we normally do our slaughtering every Friday. Na tuchinji sungura mwenye is not booked we slaughter our rabbits with the orders okay yeah ni gani watu wengi breed gani ni watu wengi wanaitisha sana eh uh, we advise although someone will come with his own ideas but we advise mm -hmm. for meat mm -hmm. we normally say the rabbit number one which has more meat than all the other rabbits is new zealand white mm -hmm. it has more meat when we do the comparison between of meat to bone ratio mm -hmm. we advise people to do new zealand white because it has more, man, more, more meat than any other rabbit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I see some numbers here. Any the, the numbers, numbers we are doing the numbers of cages so that they can help us in our in our records. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So kwa wale watu ambao wanataka kukutafuta in terms of maybe those wanataka ku start this uh, uh, nini this uh, nini rabbit farming mm -hmm. uh, how can they get you? Uh, <coughs> For anyone who want to venture into rabbit, one thing we normally say, you can contact us. We have our, our, our line which is open to everyone 24-7 at 0722-741827. Also, for YouTube, Pia Mutu Atatupata, Kibuku Rabbit Farm, we are also there to Kobado kwa Facebook. Hata wenye wako TikTok ukienda TikTok ukiacha search kibuku rabbit farm bado utatipata. Mm -hmm. And we are doing for those who want to venture into rabbit farming. Sisi husema if you try want to do an investment ni pesa unataka ku invest. Jaribu ku invest pesa zako kama you have an idea of what is going on in what you want to do. We normally do our trainings every Saturday for those who want to venture into rabbit farming. We, know, we normally say Ndiyo sasa ujue what you are doing, you are doing it in the right way, have, have some tips on what you want to do. Okay. Yeah. So your final words, uh, General? Me what I would, do, I would want to tell everyone. I normally say, tell a friend to tell a friend mm -hmm. to do rabbit farming. Mm -hmm. Let us not all be thinking of doing chicken, doing cattle farming, doing goat farming, doing sheep farming. 
Waje tuuze mkoje ya sungura tununue maziwa wenye wapo na ngombe. Yeah. Wow. Asante sana bwana James. Yeah.